This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Fundamentals Course D, Lesson 9 Fancy Shapes Using Nested Loops, Part 10. Challenge. Can you figure out how to make a picture like this? Yes. Both shapes have 50 pixels. Between each pair of shapes, you will need to jump forward the length of a side and turn 45 degrees. Okay. So this is going to be tricky. They want us to do this in less than 13 blocks, which, yikes. And they want us to only use move forward twice. So I know right away we're really going to need to use our repeat loops. But before I drag one over, let's see. How am I going to make a square? We've done this a lot. So if it's only 50 pixels, I'm going to drag one of these, right? Because I want to make one side of a square. And I'm going to set this to 50. So that will be the first side of this square. Well, then what do I want to do? Well, I'm going to want to turn left by 90 degrees because a square has a 90 degree turn. This should draw one side. Yep. And now if I can draw one side, whoop, the square has four sides. Remember, anything in a repeat block is repeated however many times we ask. So if a number four here, each time this runs, when we hit run, the code's going to go, oh, okay, run this four times. Move forward, turn left. Toop, zoop, forward, left. Zoop, forward, left. Four times. And we should see a full square develop. Yes. All right. Well, that is only one square, though. We have a bunch. Well, thankfully, it tells us that we will need to jump forward the length of a side. So I'm going to grab jump. Jump, 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 jump. There we are. And we want to do this outside of our repeat because we want to repeat and draw the four sides. Once it does that, we want the code to drop down and jump 500 pixels, Oop, not 550 pixels, and turn 45 degrees. Hmm. So we're going to turn 45. Oh, look, right, 45 degrees. Let's test this now. Okay, so we look ready to draw another square. Now, we don't have enough code to be able to write out, move forward, and all that again. So how can we do the exact same thing? If this draws a square and gets ready to draw the next square, oh, we can use a repeat block, right? We can loop our code twice. So the outer loop now, I'm just going to set this to two. This outside loop dr makes it draw, well, now two squares. This inside loop says four because, again, this is the four sides of each of those squares. So the first time through, it's going to go, okay, make run this four times. Move forward, left, forward, left, forward, left, forward, left. Okay, that was four times. Drops down, jump over, turn 45, hits the bottom of our outside loop, goes back to the top, and repeats all of that again. Alrighty, so that gets us two squares. I think they have eight. Ta-da! And now, more stuff to do. So we also know how to draw a triangle, all right? So to do that, we're going to grab our other move forward, and they said it's 50 pixels, so I guess we'll trust them. Um, and then we're going to turn what? Well, this is going to be a bit of experimentation. Let's see what this does. So that doesn't look, look how I'm facing. I'm facing up this way. Let's try something more like this. And I can't tell without it. Oops, I should have done it this way. Ah. Hmm. Let's try that. Speed this up a bit. Well, that wasn't good. Let's do forward first, maybe, because then we would. Okay, so now we're facing up towards our rectangle, it looks like. Up towards our triangle, right? Because we're going to go back through all the way around drawing triangles. So that means I need a repeat block again. How many sides to a triangle? Well, three. I'm going to grab my code and drop it inside. Let's test. Ah, well, we got one. Okay, well, then what do we want to do after one? Oh, 
we need to jump the length of the side. So jump right here by 50 pixels. And then we need to turn right, I think, by 45. Okay. Now, how many times do we need to draw the squares? I bet that's how many times we need to draw the triangles because there's just as many. So just like before, we're going to call, we're going to nest our loops, our repeats. And so we're going to draw three sides for each rec, each triangle, right? Eight times because eight triangles total. So it should draw all the squares, then all the rect, all the triangles. Let's see. But uh, we did it. But I'm going to get a bit technical here. I want to get these colors. So reset. This out one looks like a lighter pink, I think. That one probably. And the inside one. Hmm. Maybe something. Eh, it's not red. Maybe that. All right. Let's see. That looks perfection to me. So you really want to understand these loops. This is what worked for me, but you really want to understand why we're putting one loop inside each other because it's going to be, it's going to empower us to make some really cool stuff. So if you didn't go back, watch this again, listen closely, it will make sense eventually. All right, let's keep going. 